The Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development has revealed that it will not entertain any supplementary expenditures that are known for security or industrial policy purposes because they cause more challenges in the government's ability to deliver. Briefing the media on the quarter one expenditure releases for the financial year 2022-2023 budget, Ramadan Govi, the permanent secretary to the Minister of Finance, stressed that government will this time round not entertain any supplementary budget aside security or industrial policy purposes because it affects the economic performance. We are saying we don't want supplementary expenditure. It distorts the budget. It affects the economic performance. So please, accounting officer, wherever you are, don't waste paper and ink typing supplementary requests. I will not process them, except those I have mentioned, which were actually anticipated by the law. At the end of June 2022, the size of Uganda's economy was projected at 162.1 trillion shillings or 45.7 billion, translating into 1,046 US dollars per capita. This is the result of prudent economic policies that enabled recovery in economic activity, leading the economy to grow at 4.6%, up from 3.5% the previous financial year 2020-2021. According to Gobi, the government has come up with various interventions to support economic recovery. And we are continuing with those very interventions. We have put money in UDB. We have put money in the small recovery, small business recovery fund. We have put money in the microfinance support center. We are supporting the households through the parish development model. We are putting in place a tax policy which is supportive of recovery, not introducing new taxes. The increase in prices was caused by the effect of the COVID-19 restrictions across the world, which disrupted supply chains, leading to high transport costs, a rapid rise in demand for fuel, raw materials and other goods when the economies were opened globally. According to Gobi, the current status and outlook on inflation emphasizes the need to coordinate fiscal policy with the monetary policy to stabilize the inflation and protect the poor. The poor are the ones who are disproportionately affected by high inflation. Whenever you reduce inflation, you have actually fought poverty. And the, in that case, whenever the cost of living rises so fast, it is the poor that are affected disproportionately. Gross domestic product in Uganda is expected to reach 34.00 US dollars by the end of 2022, according to Trading Economics Global Macro Models and Analysts' Expectations. In the long term, the Uganda GDP is projected to trend around 34.00 US dollars in 2023, according to our econometric models.